G'day mate, welcome back to Cosmodea with me, Jenny, and our five ships. Our five ships that um had a shit shoot, shit shoot last episode. And I've come to the realization that I cannot have five ships. Five ships is just too much. If I, if I ran the game at 0.8, 1 8th speed, and I did a whole lot more micro, which is not that interesting for you guys to watch. I, I could run five ships without a problem, but I'm, I'm trying to skip over a whole bunch of that. So what I want to do is um I need to get rid of at least a ship. Probably two. Probably two. I don't know what two I'm going to get rid of. I definitely know what one I'm going to get rid of. Um, now, a lot of people would say um, I should get rid of uh, Deck or Don't. Deck or Don't. Deck cannon ship, it's nice. It, it, it makes a lovely sound. I love the sound. I love the sound. The sound is, is what really impresses me. But um, I like the ship. I like the ship. I'm keeping the ship. I, the, realistically, at the stage of the game we're at, we should have rail guns and we should just be kiting everything and... We, we could, we could. I, I could make a great, great ship, load up with, um, well, crew's not really an issue. I, I, I have a lot of crew. Um, I could make a lovely ship, a, a lovely rail ship. Similar to this, I, I've actually already got a blueprint ready to go that I could just extend this ship out another half a dozen tiles and, and well, 30 tiles and, and take them up from a 100% to 200% rail. And it's plenty of maneuverable as is. And, and we, we could just kite everything. And then we could keep buying the gap to make it run backward by giving a little bit more reverse thrust. And well, actually, I could just tell it to run away and fire rockets everywhere it can. And we, we could call that a day um, and, and, and keep our two little strike cruisers. The problem is without having a brawler to attract attention, they would probably attract attention, which means we'd end up having to get rid of both of our little little strike craft. And I don't want to do that. So we're going to keep our brawler. I'm going to keep my brawler. I'm going to keep deck or don't. It does need upgrades. It needs a whole lot more maneuverability, which we will look at adding, not this episode, maybe the next episode. Also, maybe making it a little bit bigger. More deck cannons is always better in my book. Um... And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these two ships and I'm going to smash them into one another. Yeah, yeah, I think that's going to be the plan. We're going to take Mind the Gap and uh, poke an eye out and just smash the two ships together. But before doing that, we need to talk about some of the changes. Because uh, the backstab remains the same, but um, Nuke Pooper 3.0 was born. Um, actually, can I get you to come over here? Yeah. Yeah, okay, uh, backstabber, backstabber, show us the inside, uh, actually, let's just turn on this overlay, uh, so, uh, backstabber, we've seen the overlay, uh, Nuke Pooper 3.0, it's pretty much the exact same overlay, um, I have basically done a one-for-one -one copy, because this is highly maneuverable, this is very maneuverable as well now, hopefully, there is one catch, um, it's very weak at the front, like very weak at the front this goes boom and this goes boom and all of this goes boom so if we take a round in the front bad things happen on top of that uh this has two crew quarters to make sure that i can add in the extra point defense um this does not uh so that could be an issue going forth um i chose to save the weight and also the crew and i just have the one I'm actually now looking at this, wondering, can I extend the ship out and put in a, a bigger, go from a cockpit to a bridge and have less weight overall and less 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 size, maybe. Later problem, later problem. Um, but the Nuke Pooper has, um, version 3.0 has been built uh, with, well, more, more, more pooping uh, with more nukes. So we need to give that a go as well. Uh, crew crew complement is very easy. We have uh, two in, well, two in each of the rockets, uh, two in each of the engine rooms, uh, plus six, 12, 14, of which one of them has to sit in the cockpit, so that gives us 13 crew left over. Uh, in honor of, uh, well, well, the wonderful YouTube members, I need to name a crew member. So we're going to come in here and we're going to put a name to the captain of this wonderful ship. Uh, we're going to thank the wonderful WJ McDonald uh, for being a wonderful YouTube member. They have clicked the like button, they've clicked the subscribe button, which you should have clicked by now. One, because we're gonna do a whole lot of ship design in this episode. And also play with it, don't forget. Uh, also because, well, if you hit the subscribe button, you make sure you get the notification about the next episode. Because you're probably going to want to watch the next episode because you watch this episode. But uh, Jack went above and beyond and clicked the join button, became a YouTube member, which means I don't run any bin roll ads during these wonderful Let's Plays. So thank you, Jack. Uh, welcome to the team. Uh, fly the ship well. 
Just be warned, you're on a flying bomb, literally. Uh, as for uh, Mind the Gap, Mind the Gap is going to need an upgrade. Um, it's going to need a minor upgrade. It's going to be a little bit of a silly upgrade, but it's, it, it is a required upgrade. Uh, we need to bring that out there and then up to about there and uh, that'll do. Uh, crew quarters, I need to put some crew quarters uh, in the safety of outer space. And we'll just apply them along here, there and there, and out there and... That was mirrored. Good. All right. Uh, because Poke Eye Out needs to transfer crew to uh, Backstabber. My oh, Backstabber's down one crew. Yeah, send one over to there. Uh, can I send you to Mind the Gap? Uh, 107 minus one. I need one crew member. Uh, so we're just going to kick everybody overboard, literally. Uh, and then we're going to design a new ship. That's it. It's a wonderful ship. It's another grand ship. Uh, and we're going to make that ship so. Cool. Uh, then we're going to, unfortunately, um, we're going to abandon. Who's our last remaining crew? Uh, Buchan. Buchan. Mm, sure. Uh, who has somewhere to sleep, but um, unfortunately, no airlock to get in, so he'll just sit out here and suffocate. Or we can abandon the ship. Uh, with the ship abandoned, he will find a new crew to join. And considering he's going that way, he's going to go join Mind the Gap. And live in one of the outside crew compartment compartments. And um, we now have a lovely outline of a ship, which I can use to retrofit Mind the Gap. Now, I have already spent three hours today. Three hours today in the ship designer, designing a brand new ship. Taking the best parts of Mind the Gap and our Pokemon Eye Out. And combine them together, mashing them together on one singular ship, which had to fit many requirements. One of the requirements was lots of missiles. I like my missiles. Also, I want to retain my, my morale guns. I definitely want to retain the morale guns. Also, maybe make them a little bit bigger. Also, well, want to keep the factory center. I really like having the factories on board one ship. Also, we're going to need factories to obviously resupply the Newt Pooper. La oh, and resupply our own rocket, uh, uh, rocket stacks, rocket supplies. Uh, the other thing that I needed to do was have plenty of storage. Um, we have 40,000 storage in steel. We're just going to work on steel because it's a nice easy number. 40,000. 40,000 steel and I, I wanted to retain a lot of storage. But um, I needed a ship that did all those requirements. So I spent a little while and um, um, I designed a brand new ship. And here we have our brand new ship. Um, it is the LAC. The LAC, yep. The Linear Accelerator Cruiser. Because it's still a cruiser. Uh, we, in fact, we have uh, 60, 60 missile launchers on both sides. I did forego a lot of the point defense. Um, in fact, a large portion of... Come on. Come on, come on. There we go. A large portion of the point defense got removed. We have put some point defense at the front because um, these are the danger holes for the rail guns. And obviously, you don't really want anything coming down the danger holes. That's not painted on one side. That, that's horrible. That's horrible. I actually spent time painting this one. Uh, yes, yeah, so we, we, I did remove a whole lot of the flak. I, I kept what we could and now it's set to just solid defensive because... In theory, this ship would not get into any face-to-face -face combat anymore. It also needed to maintain its mining lasers. So we do have six mining lasers on either side. Uh, we also have some significant engine uh, engine blocks, thruster clusters. Uh, a lot at the back, so we can definitely get up to speed. Plus two for lateral movement in the back of the ship. Um, plus, well, two large clusters right here in the middle of the ship. And if we actually go... Nope, wrong button into this mode um we can see i haven't really left any free tiles we have used every single tile i could in the ship and i also upgraded the uh rail guns to 200 so they now fire twice as far and twice as fast well twice as fast for twice the damage they don't fire any further all right uh let's talk about some of the details of this ship and just very very quickly uh first off we have um this reactor this reactor feeds the front point defense plus all the accumulators uh and also the lasers themselves um the accumulators are needed for battery storage because binding lasers just chew through power uh, it's a catch between two in theory if i put a bigger reactor here i the T3, I might be able to get away without this sort of stuff. The problem is that T3 goes bigger, bigger, boom, worse, which is a problem because I definitely don't want to hurt my thrusters or my railgun should somehow this reactor get hit. It is buried in the armor. Chance of getting hit is very slim, but I don't really want to risk it. Um, 
Actually, I probably should have a zigzag. Get away! Yeah, let's just put a zigzag in the armor. Sure. Makes me feel a little bit better. Not a whole lot. Uh, yeah. I don't feel good about that anyway, shape of form. It, it, it needs to be taken out and sent to battle and worked out how well it works or doesn't work. Okay. Uh, next up, uh, we have this medium reactor. Feeds this large four-way thruster cluster. Now, it's not quite enough power, fully honest. Um, it's not quite enough. It's most of the way there, but not quite. Um, if we're firing all different thrusters for doing uh, maneuvering, it runs out of power. But it does output four and a half per second, and that should be enough to run two of these. Three of these? Two of these. 1.2... 1 1.2... 1 uh, 50% extra is 1.6, which is 3.2 for two of them. Uh, so almost three of them non-stop. Um, but yeah, lots of little bursts and that sort of stuff. We can run out of power. Okay. Uh, this reactor is not is not assigned to anything. It goes anywhere, mainly down to this one here but not guaranteed also it feeds what little point defense we have across the side uh this reactor is assigned to these four re rear engines this one the same as for well this is its own separate nightmare we know about this this is this is the uh production setup which has uh where are we do, 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 that one uh, without that on uh, has you know sulfur in ammo and copper in the coils and iron in the plates and blah 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 and then this no longer outputs to a random slot um the only way we output now is if i assign a slot so i have a, a slot assigned to mines so mines only go there i have one to nuclear parts one to emps one to normal rockets um coils 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 uh one, two, three, 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 four, five, six, six, six to coils up, uh, a lot to hyper coils, um, about 3,000 to steel, uh, processes, two, two on either side for processes, um, diamonds, where do I put diamonds? Diamonds are down here, it seems. Uh, oh, and one over there. Um, so yes, the only way this has resources on it in an assigned slot is if I assign a slot, which is a pro and a con, and we'll get to the... Well, the con is that things don't get pulled out of storage or out of the manufacturing go places, which means I can't sell them for profit. By the same token, we're at $6.5 million. I think we're good on money for a little while. Uh, okay, back into directions. Okay. First, we have a small reactor or a medium reactor. Uh, runs the front of the railgun, plus all the shields and the point defense at the front. Uh, the only reason we have mediums in here is this is the central two uh, shields, which means there is more chance that damage is going to happen here, hence I've put in a bigger reactor. Uh, then we have the next reactor, which runs eight uh, accelerators. Next reactor, another eight. Next reactor, another eight. Next reactor, another eight. Next reactor, just four, because, well, it's just how the numbers worked out. All right, on to uh, the next one, which is... Uh, well, let's not go into crew just yet. Uh, let's go into this one. So we have sulfur in ammo, ammo in the railgun, boom, boom, bang. Uh, and then that's pretty much it for those designations. Uh, crew. Let's turn that off and let's try and talk through crew really quickly. Okay, so we have uh, battery boys. Certain amount of battery boys, if we bring this up, we can see they're all linked together because the, these guys are meant to stay up here doing battery stuff. Uh, we also have missile operators uh, along with engine operators. So engine operators live in a designated engine and they never leave. Missile operators, they're just assigned to a room and then they go sit in a in a gun where they have a big button they get to press that makes large sounds and makes enemies go away yep uh those sorts of buttons all right we also have some battery boys in here these battery boys are assigned to the actual engines themselves in theory that means that they should push the power from here out to all the different engines i also have some red shirts i have a section of red shirts around the ship with no real designation, they're going to just do things that red shirts do. Um, we might actually put in 
Let's see, you to be a red shirt, and then missile operators there instead, um, because they're useless getting out of there in a hurry. Okay, uh, so yeah, plenty of missile operators are uh, down the side. These pink ones, pink ones, pink ones, pink ones. Uh, rockets, please. Their one job is to take rockets and shove them into, well, the the many, many, many rockets down the side of the ship. Uh, I, well, we've got a total of 60 of them, and I do want to change you to be EMPs and you to be EMPs as well. We're not really using EMPs to um, do what MPs do. EMPs do. We're, we're, we're mainly using them to um, attract attention from friends and make sure that they come and face us and look at us, and that way we don't have to fly as hard to catch up to them. Um, okay, so we have EMPs, many, many rockets, uh, more crew. We have, again, a battery boy that is hopefully going to do this engine. But as we can see, um, they're running all the way around here to give a power into the main cockpit. Uh, Cockpits-wise, I have two cockpits that are at the back, not terribly well armored, and you'd think that would be for some sort of redundancy. Um, it's actually because we were up to 1,500 command points. It's a big ship. It's a big boy. Very, very, very big boy. Very expensive too. Um, okay, continuing on our list. Uh, that's all the same. That's all the same uh, crew. Uh, down the back of the ship, we have bridge. So the bridge crew is the gray ones. Uh, they are either sitting in the bridge or sitting in the sensor. We have some battery boys. Uh, these battery boys are hopefully assigned to these engines and they just move power hopefully into the engines and don't walk across the reactor like that lot just did. It requires a little bit more uh, management, it seems. So we've got a couple of battery boys. Also, I have engine operators down here. I've used a crew of six and then applied four of them to the engines, hoping that the other two will kick in and they'll move around some power. Uh, engine operators, edit role, job priorities. Uh, that one, nine. Okay. And battery boys, edit role, job priorities, eight. Okay, so that should force the engine operators to do the power first, with the battery boys being a backup. Because the engine operators are actually assigned to one side of the room, so they won't actually cross the streams. Uh, so we have uh, the, the engine operators, like I said, it's a set of crew, a crew of six, applied four into the rooms, and then two to hopefully move around power with backup from the, any, uh, from the battery boys. And I have the exact same over here. We also have more, I need to come out of that view, uh, more missile operators all the way along the back. I need 120 crew just to sit in the missiles, ready to press those lovely buttons. Uh, we also have mining operators. Uh, if I bring up you, uh, these are set to the mining lasers right at the front. Funny enough, uh, normally because they're the only ones that are meant to do mining, they would just walk up there naturally. Turns out I actually had to assign them because it was so far away, the Pathfinder couldn't work out how to get up there. Uh, finally, under crew, we have two shield guys. Their job is just to get for power from here and run them into shields. They are linked into all the different shields and the reactor itself. Uh, we have uh, rails, the rail power guys. Their job is to, well, the front one is to recharge the shields and also recharge the very tip of the rail gun. And then every reactor, which was supporting eight, has its own crew of six to support that reactor to make sure they're being fed at all times. Next up, we have rail operators. Where are the rail ops? Rail ops, rail ops down here. So I have 18 crew set up for rail operations. Um, I only need 16, so I've got two down here spare. They'll find other things to do when they feel like it. Uh, what? What? They're not in that room. Thank you. Uh, they'll find other things to do when, when they're idle, like pull around power and, and, and I, I don't know, do do helpful things. Um, in fact, actually, job priorities, rails, uh, probably set that as a nine. Maybe a two. Maybe an eight. Ammo loaders. What's your job priority? for actually loading ammo. It's a nine. Okay, if it's a nine, you can be an eight. Uh, okay, next up is the rail loaders, uh, ammo loaders. I have, well, two crew in every one of them dedicated, and they're actually linked into that. Thank you. That. Okay, they were meant to be linked into. They're now linked into uh, the designated uh, rail gun that they're closest to. And as for the ammo flow, it is sul sulfur in ammo, ammo in a rail gun. So we have rail guns that fire pretty much nonstop. Uh, anything else crew-wise? 
mining operators, rail ops, uh, the loader, ammo loaders. It's pretty much it. Um, I definitely know that I don't have enough crew to reload the rockets consistently. And that's perfectly fine. That is a more than fine. I really don't mind that at all. It's it's, it's not perfect, but it's a something. Uh, and the other reason why we've locked down all the different slots means I can now come here and I've already hired and the amount of crew I need. I'm up to 500 crew on this ship. But it means I can click this and say sell surplus. And as you can see, we're going to sell 200 ammo because I have 200 ammo sitting in the stores. Uh, 42 EMPs, 60 nukes, uh, 7,000 steel, uh, 12... 16 hypercores and just goes down the list and sells anything that's not in a slot that's locked. So I have, uh, that's now a mess. I have a certain amount of slots locked with a certain amount of things, which means they'll just get hoided out of the ship and sold off. Uh, I do need to make sure that we set up with new remote off an iron, a copper, a tritanium, a carbon, a gold and a uranium shop. Sure. Uh, just so we don't accidentally sell off raw resources that we're going to convert into something. Uh, but as soon as we've finished selling off and emptying out the ship, up, uh, up, oh, oh, back here. Uh, as soon as we've finished doing that, I want to go off to combat, uh, sell surplus. So you can see selling more ammo, more EMPs, more nuclear missiles. Not we need as many as we've got. Uh, can I just set that to zero in favor of selling, uh, sell surplus? No, uh, sell surplus. Yes, a thousand. Wait, let's get rid of a thousand hypercoils. Uh, I'm just trying to empty out the inventory before we go places. And, um, well, the station has bought a lot, but uh, I think they could buy more. Surely, surely they'd be happy to buy more. All right, so we have our first targets. Our first targets to test our brand new ship design, the linear accelerator cruiser, and deck or don't. And also the, the backstabber and nuke pooper three. 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 Yep. All right. We're going to head for that. Sure. Uh, that's a mercy giver. We've, we've dealt with them before. Uh, we're going to grab both of you. We're going to have you guys come around here and hang around this ship. Uh, you're not going to tank things. Um, no, they're going to stick with... Uh, they're going to come over here. Yep. Sure. All right, deck or don't go straight in there. Uh, linear accelerator cruiser, head in here. Wow, that's a lot of range. Okay. Uh, turns out we're already in range. Can I pop that? Um, nope, we're not in range. Uh, we are far too close. Okay, uh, let's save that. And actually, speaking of saving things, Nuke Pooper, I don't want you to go in backward anymore. You're going to go in forward. We're going to try and keep you a little bit further back now. Uh, save attack defaults, and we'll set you to go back over there. Uh, by the way, if you're curious, I did install a mod that just makes the resources a little bit easier to identify um, rather than reading lots of little white text. Uh, can I get you to aim? Well, I want you to start on the left. I don't know what that is. Uh, I want you to go right, preferably. And forward. Sure, because you suck at strafing. Uh, no, and no. You guys might be too fast. Maybe not. Oh, that's bad. Okay, see, this is what I'm talking about. The, 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 I want you to just attack on this side. Okay, it, it, it's 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 a bit late now. Uh, all right, fine. You're going that way. Just just. Just, 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 just do that. Okay. Uh, you take out that command center. You uh, actually are going to hit this command center. Which way are you facing currently? You're currently facing pretty much square on. Okay. So let's just send you to the right. And hopefully you'll hit everything on the way past. Nuke Pooper is um, completely down. Was EMP to death. Uh, we're going to send you around the back. Probably on that side. And hopefully we're going to get a rail, our own rail shot in the face. Oh, 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 you're very dead. Okay. Uh, we don't even know what the other target is yet. Um, oh, well, actually, if it's going to get pushed, can I rake that way? Can I? You back alive? Cool. Never mind. It's dead. 
Okay. All right. Well, backstabber. Took a couple of shots. Uh, deck or don't always take shots. Uh, 31. Really? I don't have 31 coils. That's annoying. And you, you've at least got two coils. Okay. Can I break down, well, everything here? Uh, can you guys help? Uh, okay, whilst that's happening, uh, let's try solo. Uh, linear accelerator cruiser versus what are you? A peacekeeper. I have a feeling you're not going to keep much peace. Okay, uh, you have a reactor in the middle, a whole lot of cannons, like a lot of cannons on a lot of cannons on a lot of cannons. With uh, so it's an ammo factory, that's a crew bunk, that's a flak cannon, ammo factory, armor, corridor. Corridor, armor. So there's plenty of armor in the wings to stop a chain reaction, hopefully. Uh, but we have round cannons. So, you know, we're going to try right down the middle. I also have a lot of rockets, like a lot of rockets, um, which seem to all be fully armed still. Uh, I don't really want all of that. I just really want enough to repair what's broken. Uh, what is broken? So we don't have enough coils to repair walkways and pretty much walkways. Oh, and some point defense, which doesn't look like it's broken, broken, just damaged. Um, is that good enough? Like, I, I agree with everybody else. We really need a repair what you can button. All right. All right. All right. Let me make this a larger tool that can cover more surface area. Okay. Cancel. Uh, cancel. And cancel. Uh, you still have all your crew on board. So let's send you guys around the rear. You don't have a brawler. Let's send you behind the brawler who will rotate to... Actually, nobody's gone overboard yet. We're going to send the brawler in. All right. Uh, let's see how well this does or does not work, because you don't have rails, but you do have EMPs that you've already fired. I have also have an AEMP. Uh, okay, we need to rotate all the way through to here, uh, and preferably start reversing a lot. Our reverse thrust is not great. It, it, it could do with improvements. Uh, mind doesn't need any improvements whatsoever uh really did it power down or did we take an emp i think it powered down okay we might need to do something about um crew management battery boys battery boys battery boys battery boys battery boys uh no, they are set to nines and tens. Um, okay, thrusters, thrusters, thrusters. Set to an eight. Okay. Uh, well, I don't know. I don't know why we powered down. But uh, I do know that there is a giant juicy ship here that now has a hole in it uh, that we might just pick up. Nope, we're going to cancel picking that up. Uh, we're not going to pick up steel anymore. Or ammo. Yep, everything else will take. Uh, sure. And that. All right. Uh, meanwhile, this can finally salvage whatever's here, and we'll just scoop all this up. I probably also need a sulfur refill, so we'll add that to our list. Yep. Oh, actually, you could probably do that, and you could probably also do that. All right. Uh, I'll see you guys with whatever we decide to play with next. Just minding my own business, wandering past a, well, one of these things, a target area, and then, like, everybody chases me out of the woodworks. Oh, you're the interesting one. A fire steel. Um, that's, 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 that's a decent amount of ion beams. Um, and a lot of shields. Okay. All right. Uh, preferably, don't hit that side on. Uh, I want you to target that, and we're just going to scrape that way deck or don't you know what come this way okay uh i it disappeared uh can i get you to spin this way oh 
And uh, keep keep spinning. Oh, and oh oh oh! I'm so sorry. Uh, um, can I get you to? Uh, which way are we facing? Oh, you know what? Just just swing over here. Uh, one. I want number one. Hit that. Then I want it to hit that. Then I want it to hit that. Uh, sure. I think I missed the first one. Uh, you guys are set to follow him, right? One, can you just hit that? Because it turns out the, the, the rail gun ship missed it. Really? You, you won't shoot at that, even though it's in front of you? Surely that's in front of you. Okay. Just that. Well, it's being dragged across the map. Uh, that one then. And rotate. Yep, I thought so. Uh, you did stick the ship to the side of the hole. Ooh! Oh. I guess sidetracked. Uh, can we just slide this way a little bit? And one can go for that. Yeah, you, you're, 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 you're pulling it backward. You know what? Uh, I think we're in push mode. Just, just, let's get some separation. Uh, rockets. Well, rockets are on auto target, so they're probably targeting that currently. Uh, those should be targeting that. And I just need you to spin over here. Ooh, 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 ooh. That was one of them. You gotta get out of the way. You two, I have a mission for you. Uh, I'd like you to swing around here, please. And what's protecting that side of it? Nothing. Nothing. We need the nuke people to get closer. Um, you're again in the way. Okay, well, as you seem to be going that way, uh, can you... No, we'll stick with push. Uh... <sighs> There's a giant ship in the way. Okay, you're facing it. Uh, I don't see any defenses whatsoever. Can I fire a nuke at that place? Uh, and they're on fire mode. That would probably help. Uh, backstabber around the back. And you are designed to get real in close and proper. And then be able to snipe off individual targets. That we're just going to ignore. Yeah. We, we might set you and you to just... If, if, if that comes close enough, just shoot at it. Oh, oh. Oh, that was the side of my, my hull. Uh, okay, you're still set for that. Which way are you facing? You're facing... Uh, this is the problem. I want to see where you are relative to where you are right this second. Uh, okay, I want you to spin to the right. Almost. Uh, two nukes in the front. That was a hard miss, Pooper. Hard miss. All right, well, how are our shields holding up? Uh, they're about to fail. But, it's not the worst. Uh, you've completely, completely overshot. Once again. Uh, that's why you've overshot. Uh, okay. All right, you just rotate through. Yep. One, two, three, four, four. Okay, done. Oh, sorry. I've... <laughs> yeah, dead cannon. Yeah, okay. Yep, yeah, solved. All right. Uh, oh. What's a black swan? Oh, a double railer. Okay. Uh, you, let's try and get you right out to the side. Oh, you can repair too. Sure, let's do the repair first. Uh, you can also repair. Cool. Uh, you two, meh. Have fun. Don't care what you do. You know, shoot something. Yep. Alright, done. Uh, 
I said one on you and one on you. Cool. Uh, you, uh, well, it's either take out two reactors or just go straight for the command center at the back. Uh, let's go for the command center. Let's aim to left of him to start with. And then, as it gets closer, it, it's going for the big ship. Let's go for the big ship. All right, rail versus rail. How do you feel about rails? I feel like that went through and out the other end. I feel like we need to go the other way. Oh, 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 incoming. Yeah. Did you, you did poop again. I don't know who got the kill on that one. It was a bit of a disaster all about. But, uh, I, I, I say this, I, I say we do fine. Uh, we, we, we do absolutely fine in uh, mass uh, mass destruction. Uh, one steel and you did not even get range. Uh, can I get just a, a general cleanup, please? Cleanup crew required. All right. Cancel. I don't want steel. Uh, cool. All right. I'll see you guys when we finally find... I'm looking for a target. I'm looking for a target that's worth talking about, worth 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 covering, and um so far, yeah. Alright, I'll see you in a bit. Alright, so I went searching and we have a, a, a acolyte of Adhara. Yes. Um I'm hoping it's a unique ship. I'm hoping it's a unique ship we get to play with, um, because well, everything we've encountered so far has been pretty boring. Uh yeah, what are you? What are you? Uh, oh, we blew these up previously without trying. Um, okay, so we're just going to aim for that. Uh, I'm going to aim slightly to the left of it. And deck or don't, sure, strike fighters. Uh, well, let's try this. Let's try setting them far, far out to the side. And hopefully they don't attract EMPs, missiles. Hopefully they just don't attract attention. Uh, Meanwhile, uh, Lydian Accelerator. Um, well, you're facing slightly the wrong way, but in range yet? Close. All right, uh, we're just gonna rotate right the way through and well, 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 uh, well. Uh, we're not going to pick up steel. Look, I understand why railguns have the appeal uh, that they do. They, it just it just makes everything comically easy. Comically easy. Uh, sure, we'll pick up all that. Uh, and th there's a lot of flies buzzing around in space. Uh, great. Well, that failed. Um, come on, Nick Pooper, over here. Uh, it seems we do better when we fight against the pack, or at least a pack is more chaotic. chaotic. Um, there's a liberator. Uh, that one. Um, I'll see you guys at the liberator. We'll probably walk straight through that just because it's in the way and it just cuts down on the transport time, but um, yeah, I'll see you guys at the liberator. We finally found a liberator. We avoided a asteroid field full of... Oh, there's a question mark. I'll probably go back for a question mark. Uh, liberator. Liberator. What's a liberator? Oh, that's new. Uh, what is a liberator? A liberator is a lot of flak. Like, a lot of flak. Like, an extreme amount of flak. Like, that is an insane amount of flak. Why the big gap in the middle? To launch out EMPs. I'm expecting, like, an ion beam or something in here, and there's just a wide open void. Uh, okay. Deck or don't, yeah, right in the middle. Uh, cruiser in there, aim for that. Start on the left. Uh, so, flak will... Oh, flak and cannons. Okay, so the idea is... You have disruptors and also uh, EMP. So you're going to take down shields and then you're going to rip a ship, ship apart, hopefully with cannons and flak. Uh, flak to get through the armor and then cannons to actually do the damage. Plus, there's a large reactor and a control room on either side. So if you bifurcate the ship, it just keeps rolling. Uh, so we're not going to bi bifurcate the ship. We are going to select both of those guys. We're going to stretch you far out to the side. Uh, and sure. Uh, 
but I have a feeling, due to the way how rails work, uh, actually, if I just spin you to here, so these are big shields. Now, big shields don't go through armor, so it's only got a little shield that we actually have to punch through and all the armor. Uh, oh, first cannon's off. Uh, crap. Okay, backstabber. Come stab in the back. Uh, nuke pooper. Come poop. Uh, I need to select you both. Thanks. Okay. Uh, that side. That side. Sure. Uh, I need to reverse faster if we want to go full on kite mode. But I don't really go. Oh, maybe I do care. Mm, we got some armor. Oh, I stopped rotating. That's the problem. Uh, rotate all the way over here. rotating okay so front shields are down that's to be expected emps are down uh emps our point defense is down that's also to be expected uh can i rotate please like lots of rotate oh and none of the rockets are launched are ready okay so that was that cannon so as we rotate around these cannons should line up none of them did oh there we go boom and boom and there's one more Okay, and then we rotate back the other direction, or we just keep aiming for that. Sure, aim for the next one. Uh, deck! Just all the way around. Okay, the important thing is... These can't get damaged, okay? So this shield is down, that shield's down, that shield's down. We've still got some shields. That reactor going pop, I don't think would take out the 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 the, the brow gun, but I'm not entirely sure. All right, fine. Go that way. All right, you, sir. Uh, okay, you have the same problem as always. Stupid ship is in the way. Uh... Can I get you to target that? As you've already beaten the crap out of the other side. Uh, you... Where is that command? Oh, it's there. Uh, pff, engine block. Engine block seems like a good target. Uh, Nuke poop up. Uh, you need to actually be able to get in and... Never mind. Well, we're now famous, and we're shooting ourselves in the nose. Glad there's no friendly fire. All right, so we did take some damage, not a lot. Uh, grab everything. Uh, backstabber out of the way. Nick Pooper out of the way. You didn't poop, so you're still full on ammo. That's not going to come anywhere near us. And I have one crew overboard, which means that I lose somebody. Okay, three crew went permanently on vacation. Uh, that's probably okay. But obviously, I need all the rockets reloaded. Yeah, it's not going to take long. Alright, is there anything else we need to play with? Uh, no. I just want to hand in some quests. So, Backstabber. Uh, can you go to there? Cool. Yeah, you're going to stay inside your zone. All right. Have a chat to the station, and uh, you're worth 31. I'm already above 31, so you're worth nothing. You're also worth nothing. You're worth nothing. You're also worth nothing. You're worth nothing. Uh, you're worth something, and you're worth something. So... Fame? F fame? 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 Very got the fame. Uh, okay, so we need to contact a station and the pirate bases, which I haven't accepted because they're not worth anything to me. And exploring. Yup. And is there not a new explore? Okay, no idea. Uh, but we have not worth it. 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 Uh, and technically exploring so we need to contact this station which is here 
So uh, next episode, next episode, we're going to contact the station, find out what the station has to say. Uh, and then after we've done that, um, probably clear out the other half of the sector. We should be all level 15s. Should be all level 15s. Also means uh, deck or don't, we'll get that upgrade. The upgrade that I really want to do, we, we need to go more maneuverable. Not faster, so to speak, but more maneuverability. Yeah. Uh, and Newt Pooper survives another episode with doing such a good job first time around and now doing absolutely nothing. Um, just hasn't been able to get a, a shot in. It has plenty of speed, so... Maneuverability? I don't know. I don't know. But I need to call this episode here. Uh, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed. Do not forget Twitter post. Twitter post. Uh, first comment below. In pinned. Yep, right there. You will find the Twitter post with uh, the lack. The lack. Um, the linear accelerator cruise up. The whole ship design is right there. You can download it. Rebuild it yourself. Design, change, whatever you want. Uh, but I need to call this video here. So thank you for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you in the very next video.